So yeah, how to build a PC in Singapore? I mean, there are a lot of guides out there that teach you how to build a PC by putting this part here, putting this part there. Yes, I'm not gonna do that because there's so much of that. Even though it's a good way to get views, uh, I don't have the parts to showcase building a PC. But I have built a PC in Singapore, which is my homeland, which is where I'm staying right now. And there isn't really any guide on how to build a PC in Singapore. And I know a lot of enthusiasts, there are more and more enthusiasts in Singapore trying to build a PC. So I thought I'll make this video the second time so you guys can learn how to shop smart and get the right parts and get the best possible PC for your money in Singapore. So if you're building a PC in Singapore, um, I would suggest getting it from Simlim Square. It's fine. You won't get scammed because the competition there is so fierce and the stores there are trying to get regular company uh, PC stores there are trying to get regular customers not one-time tourists so it is essential that they remain competitive and it's likely that the PC stores won't scam you once again though you gotta shop smart if it schemes gotta scam you um, then avoid it although some of the shops do look a bit dodgy when they are super super good so before going to Simlim Square itself, you've got to do some research. Make sure you know what parts you want to get. Um, it's important that you do so because you know you need to make sure that you don't overspend on your budget. You don't go like all ape shit and get two 1080 Ti's. Make sure you know what you want to get and don't overspend on your PC. Just get one that's suitable enough for your needs. Like don't play 720p games on a GTX 1080 when you can have gotten a 1070 and a new monitor so shop smart do research on what PC builds you should get although the pricing in Singapore is definitely different from overseas using overseas kind of part list it will give you a good general idea on what parts to get and if you're worried about compatibility check out pcpartpicker.com it's a super easy website and you can do uh, everything to check compat compatibility on there. It's super easy to use and I do recommend it if you're building a PC for the first time So step two is to look up look out for Simlim Square's brochures They do they ha do have online brochures. Uh, Simlim Square do have online brochures now with their new website, but a lot of the time it's not that updated and a lot of times uh, a lot of the prices aren't on the online brochures, which is a problem if you want to shop for certain parts. What I suggest you guys do is go to Simlim Square just for 15 minutes and grab the brochures from the stores. Just go to the stores, go to pretty much every store you can find and ask for their price lists. All of them have their own price list on these A4 sheets or multiple A4 on these A5, A3 sheets or multiple A4 sheets and they're really easy just read and highlight out the parts that you're looking for and compare prices go home alright this is what I suggest you do at least to shop smart go home with these partners compare the prices of similar parts okay and find out which is the cheapest um, in terms of from which store which part is the cheapest and also if there are multiple variations of a certain part say three different graphics cards from same graphics cards from three different brands um, go online and do your research take this chance to do more research and get make sure you get the best part so uh, say oh you read up on a GTX 1080 oh the Gigabyte edition has some problem with cooling blah 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 um, then you will know that you should get the ASUS one instead of the uh, Asus one instead or the Zotac one instead. So yeah, shop smart and do your research. After that, go back to Simlim Square. Now don't immediately go to each store and buy each part individually and go for the cheapest price. No, that's not how you do it at Simlim Square. At Simlim Square, you just make sure you take note of the cheapest price um, version of each part and you tell each PC store that all the parts you want to buy and then you ask for a bargain. If the bargain isn't low enough, if the bargain doesn't match up to if you buy each part individually, then go to the next store and do the same thing. If all the prices of from every store um, for buying a whole rig, if it adds up, if every store gives you an individual quotation of pricing, then 
is still higher than if you bought each part individually from different stores to get the lowest possible price then do the individual price thing if the store gives you a quotation that's lower use your bargaining skills here then go for it what did i say which is most likely the case by the way you're probably going to get a cheaper price to buy many parts at one go than to buy each part individually also uh, push hard for cheaper pricing tell them oh i'm buying so many parts at one go or if you're building with a friend which is what i suggest you do build with a friend and build a few pieces at once that's a good bargaining chip i'm buying four thousand five thousand worth or dollars worth of parts already can you give me just thirty dollars forty dollars more discount and sometimes if you keep persisting it helps out also if you are a student or a teen it's gonna help you because they generally know that teens are a bit more fickle minded and they will give you a bit of extra price cuts since you are a child and if you really are a teen that um, is working off your parents budget you can tell them I am really limited in budget um, I just need this $20 off to get it under my budget and usually they also give you that business because these are smart businessmen They're, they rather lower their profit margins than not make this profit at all um, it's very simple economics so that's what they will do finally enjoy your rig um, you can either build it yourself which I suggest because it's super duper fun and I love it uh, or you can ask them to build it it's usually 10 20 bucks super easy super cheap just ask them to do it super fast as well and the cable management is flawless but I love building my own stuff so I did my own rig art um, in terms of store recommendations by the way I have a few recommendations for stores. I recommend Trade Pack actually. I recommend only one store I bought from this because it gave me the lowest price. Trade Pack is on the sixth floor. Fifth or sixth floor, just go in Google. They have their own Facebook page. They're not paying me to say this stuff, but I do genuinely think their prices are the best or available in Simlim Square. So check them out. Anyway, this has been ZX Tech. It's been my guide on how to build a PC in Singapore at Simlim Square. If you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe. If you found it helpful as well, like and subscribe. And if you want to watch at my other videos and if you have the time, click the link somewhere on the screen that YouTube recommended to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I hope you found it helpful. Mm -hmm.